Onsite is a tool that we're building in collaboration with Microsoft to connect scientists and engineers with the environment of the Curiosity Mars rover. Since we can't put our scientists yet physically on Mars, a technology like this allows us to investigate well, what's possible if we can make them virtually present. This was the first time where I could basically do a 360 and see Mars all around me. I love the fact that people, when they first encounter this project, have a feeling of, wow, you know, I've lived to see this. Instead of looking at 2D images, they can now walk around and explore Mars in their office. It was part inspiring and part just like, wow, I can finally do this thing that I really want to do. I could see using this every single day. It is a different way of exploring. That's transformational. Our plan is to deploy on-site to mission operations this summer and to be controlling rovers on Mars with this technology in July. My name is Laura Magdalene Eisenhower, and I'm the great-granddaughter of Dwight David Eisenhower. In 2006, something very interesting happened to my path. I ended up meeting somebody at a gathering that offered me an opportunity to go off-planet. In 2006, I was recruited to go off-planet to uh, uh, Mars, the planet Mars. A lot of people don't believe me. I get you know, mail all the time, you're disinfo, you're crazy, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, it doesn't phase me at all. It actually makes me stronger um, in a lot of ways because, you know, truth <laughs> doesn't need belief. It just is. It just it doesn't require, it doesn't feed on anybody, it doesn't steal. It's, you know, truth <laughs> doesn't need belief. It just is. It just it doesn't require, it doesn't feed on anybody, it doesn't steal. And at first, when I heard the term going to Mars or a Mars colony, I thought it was something way in the future, some great idea that was going to become more public. Mars One will establish human settlement on Mars in 2023. What would it take to get you to leave Earth forever? And I didn't really understand the roots of it, or why I was even involved or even asked. Our requirements are very different uh, from those of the, of the normal astronauts. Off, uh, space shuttle and lands. So I thought it was something I could easily say no to and go on with my merry life. And, uh, and it wasn't quite that easy. These people are going to stay there the rest of their lives. I ended up moving to North Carolina and becoming a partner with this person, moving my kids. And as I got more integrated into this lifestyle with this person, this Mars recruitment kept coming up and it kept getting even more um, urgent and more extreme as far as how important this was that we would go. I got emails talking about the target date 2012, emails that were mentioning technologies like looking glass technologies, things called Orion's Cube, things that were just sort of blowing my mind like this is out of a movie or something. As the target date was 2012, I recognized that this was something pretty um, well set up and for me to walk away from this wasn't going to be easy as I thought. I found out six months into the relationship that he was sent specifically to draw me into this recruitment while this whole time I just thought that I had run into a person that was involved in going to Mars and I had the option to go or not go. And when I found out that I was specifically targeted to go and that if I were to leave that I might be kidnapped or taken anyway, I knew that I was dealing with something very heavy and it wasn't feeling positive. Whether or not I was going to go, it didn't feel positive. Um, because initially I thought, well, this doesn't sound like 
a terrible thing to protect the human genome. I just know I have a mission on Earth. But finding out that this was a manipulation and it was set up to program the people involved to have them believe that they're helping humanity was where a lot of very well-intentioned people I was seeing getting caught up in an agenda that is not serving us.